Imagine a future where our sun, the lifeblood of our planet, swells into a monstrous red giant, engulfing Earth in a fiery embrace. Or picture a star so massive that it could swallow our entire solar system. These are not scenes from a science fiction movie, but rather glimpses into the cosmic drama that unfolds across the universe. The sun, a seemingly eternal beacon of light and warmth, is destined for a dramatic transformation. Over billions of years, it will exhaust its nuclear fuel, leading to a series of cataclysmic events. From its birth in a stellar nursery to its eventual demise, the sun's journey is a tale of cosmic evolution. And it's not just our sun. Stars across the universe undergo similar fates, each contributing to the grand tapestry of the cosmos. The universe is a dynamic, ever-changing expanse where stars are born, live out their lives, and ultimately perish. As we gaze up at the night sky, we are reminded of our place in this vast, interconnected web of celestial phenomena. Join us as we explore the sun's fiery future and the cosmic drama that shapes our universe. Our sun, a seemingly eternal fixture in our sky, is destined for a dramatic transformation. Over the course of billions of years, it will undergo a series of changes that will ultimately lead to its demise. This journey, though slow and almost imperceptible to us, is a testament to the dynamic nature of the cosmos. But how does its fate compare to that of colossal stars like Stevenson 218? These massive stars, much larger than our sun, have their own unique life cycles and end in spectacular ways. Their immense size and mass dictate a much more violent and energetic conclusion. Let's dive into the cosmic ballet of stellar life and death. From the birth of a star in a nebula to its eventual end, the journey is both fascinating and complex. Each stage of a star's life is marked by incredible transformations and awe-inspiring phenomena. Stars are born in vast clouds of gas and dust, known as nebulae. Over time, gravity pulls these particles together, forming a protostar. This process can take millions of years as the protostar gathers more and more material from its surroundings. As the protostar continues to gather mass, it heats up and eventually ignites nuclear fusion in its core, becoming a main-sequence star. This ignition marks the beginning of a star's long and stable period of life. Our sun is currently in this stable phase, shining brightly and providing the energy necessary for life on Earth. This phase can last for billions of years, during which the star remains relatively unchanged. However, this phase won't last forever. As the sun exhausts its hydrogen fuel, it will expand into a red giant, engulfing the inner planets. This expansion will dramatically alter the solar system, potentially even reaching the orbit of Earth. Eventually, it will shed its outer layers, leaving behind a dense core known as a white dwarf. This remnant will slowly cool and fade over time, becoming a faint shadow of its former self. This is the final stage of our sun's life, a quiet end to a once vibrant star. The white dwarf will remain in this state for billions of years, gradually losing its heat and energy. In contrast, massive stars like Stevenson 218 end their lives in spectacular supernova explosions, leaving behind neutron stars or black holes. These cataclysmic events are among the most energetic phenomena in the universe. The universe is a stage for these cosmic dramas, each star playing its part in the grand performance of stellar evolution. From the quiet birth in a nebula to the explosive death of a supernova, the life cycle of stars is a testament to the ever-changing nature of the cosmos. Our Sun, a middle-aged star, is currently fusing hydrogen into helium in its core, a process that has been ongoing for about 4.6 billion years. However, in about 5 billion years, it will exhaust its hydrogen supply, leading to significant changes in its structure and behavior. This depletion will trigger a dramatic transformation, turning our Sun into a red giant, a phase that will last for a few hundred million years. As it expands, it will engulf the inner planets, Mercury and Venus, and potentially even Earth, drastically altering the solar system. Stevenson 218, on the other hand, is a hypergiant star, a colossal celestial body that dwarfs our sun in both size and luminosity. It's so massive that it could swallow our entire solar system, stretching far beyond the orbit of Pluto. While its exact lifespan is unknown, it's likely to end its life in a spectacular supernova explosion scattering elements across the galaxy. The fusion process in the sun's core is what powers it, converting hydrogen into helium and releasing immense energy in the form of light and heat. As the sun becomes a red giant, 
Its outer layers will expand and cool, giving it a reddish appearance and increasing its luminosity. Meanwhile, the core will contract and heat up, driving the changes in the sun's outer layers and causing helium fusion to begin. The red giant phase will be a dramatic change, with the sun growing to hundreds of times its current size and becoming much brighter. Eventually, the sun will shed its outer layers, creating a beautiful planetary nebula and leaving behind a dense, hot core known as a white dwarf. This white dwarf will slowly cool and fade over billions of years, marking the end of the sun's life cycle, a quiet conclusion to its long journey. When the sun becomes a red giant, it will grow so large that it will fill much of our solar system, engulfing the inner planets. Earth will be scorched and uninhabitable, its oceans boiling away and atmosphere stripped. Eventually the sun will shed its outer layers, forming a beautiful and colorful planetary nebula. Its core will then collapse into a dense white dwarf, a remnant of its former glory, slowly cooling and fading over billions of years, becoming a cold, dark cinder. But before this dramatic transformation, the sun will undergo intense changes marked by violent activity. Solar flares and storms will become more frequent and powerful, releasing massive amounts of energy. The increased solar activity will affect all the planets in our solar system, altering their environments. Mars and Jupiter will experience changes in their atmospheres and orbits, potentially affecting their moons. The asteroid belt will be disturbed, sending asteroids on new trajectories, possibly towards the inner planets. Comets will be drawn closer to the sun, their icy bodies vaporizing and creating spectacular tails. The sun's magnetic field will become more chaotic and unpredictable, influencing space weather. Solar wind will intensify, impacting space weather throughout the solar system, affecting satellites and spacecraft. On Earth, we will witness spectacular auroras, but also face increased radiation, posing risks to technology and health. Satellites and space technology will be at risk from heightened solar activity, potentially disrupting communications and navigation. Deep within the sun, nuclear fusion will continue to fuel these changes, driving the sun's evolution. This is all part of the sun's life cycle, a cosmic drama unfolding over billions of years, shaping the destiny of our solar system. Predicting the exact fate of stars is challenging. Scientists rely on complex computer models and observations of stars at different stages of their life cycles. However, uncertainties remain, especially when it comes to the behavior of massive stars like Stevenson 218. The complexity of these models requires constant updates and refinements. Conferences and collaborative efforts are essential for sharing new findings and theories. Despite the advancements, predicting the exact behavior of stars remains a formidable challenge. The vastness of space and the intricate nature of stellar processes add layers of complexity. Each discovery brings new questions, pushing the boundaries of our understanding. The ultimate fate of stars, especially massive ones, continues to be a topic of intense research and debate. As we gather more data and refine our models, we inch closer to unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. By studying massive stars like Stevenson 218, astronomers can gain valuable insights into the processes that shape the universe. These stars provide a glimpse into the future of our sun, as well as the potential for extreme cosmic events like supernovae and black hole formation. The life cycle of these massive stars is a cosmic drama that unfolds over millions of years. Through detailed observations and advanced simulations, scientists can predict how these stars will evolve and eventually meet their end. The death of a massive star is a spectacular event, often resulting in a supernova, which can outshine entire galaxies for a brief period. In some cases, the core of the star collapses into a black hole, creating ripples in the fabric of space-time known as gravitational waves. These waves provide a new way to observe and understand the universe. With the help of powerful telescopes and cutting-edge technology, astronomers continue to unlock the mysteries of these colossal stars, revealing the intricate and awe-inspiring nature of our cosmos. The Sun's eventual demise and the life cycle of massive stars like Stevenson 218 are reminders of the cosmic timescale. While our sun's death is billions of years away, it's a sobering thought that even the most enduring celestial bodies are subject to the laws of physics and the relentless march of time. 
The sun will eventually expand into a red giant, engulfing the inner planets. Massive stars like Stevenson 2, 18 will end their lives in spectacular supernova. What are your thoughts on the sun's eventual fate and the life cycles of massive stars? Share your insights and questions in the comments below. Do you think humanity will still exist when the sun becomes a red giant? Or will we have already found a way to escape our dying star? The future of humanity may depend on our ability to adapt and explore new frontiers. Let's discuss the possibilities and challenges that lie ahead. Join the conversation and share your thoughts below.